Hey guys, this is Take It Out, and today I'm going to be showing you my top 40 free Iowa 13 jailbreak tweaks. Now, I meant to do this video earlier this year, I just haven't gotten around to it, and I figured I better do it before Iowa 14 comes out in three days from now. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the configurable jailbreak tweaks such as bar emoji. So you should be able to change it to custom, but for some reason it's not changing on me. So I just leave it on recent emojis. So basically what this tweak will do, so for your keyboard, see we've got all the emojis that I've used most recently at the bottom. So that's a pretty cool tweak. Um, I would highly recommend it. I use it all the time. So now let's move on to blank icons. So basically what this tweak does is literally just create blank icons. Kind of like if you watch some videos back in the day, you could make blank icons and that would be your way of moving icons wherever you want on your phone. But now there's a jailbreak tweak that you can just select the amount of icons you want it to make and click create blank icons. So as you can see, I have a bunch of blank icons up here. You can see that it if I put it into a uh, wiggle mode here, you see the blank icons right there. So basically that's just allowing me to put this widget here, which I will get to which one that is here in a second. But also, yeah, I have another page just of a few blank icons here because I made a little bit too many and didn't delete them. So that's what blank icons does. Now I've got CC clear modules so basically this one just if you see the color the uh, control center here you can't actually see the outline of the module unless it is clicked on like that so it's clear and and that one you can see the background but you can't actually see the outline of the modules anymore so that's what that tweet can do and it can do some other stuff here such as change the background color but I just leave it clear so moving on, we have circle icons, which basically, just as you can see, all my icons and settings are circles. So you can enable or disable that tweak. Then we've got color my battery, which it should work. Um, it may not be working because of my status bar tint tweak, but if I turned off the status bar tint, as you can see, it has a full purple status bar. Basically what this tweak allows you to do is based on different battery percentages, your battery will change color just to indicate the battery level. It's kind of a cool tweak. So next we have cylinder. Everybody knows cylinder. Basically all this does is it allows you to change the effects of your home screen. So as you can see here, we've got mine on just the cube setting. So you see how it swipes. Um, so that would be one of these. Where'd it go? I have it on this one here, so I can turn that off and just click cube inside. As you can see there. So that's what cylinder does. So next we have D&D &D Allow, which is Do Not Disturb Allow. Basically, it allows certain apps to still give you notifications, even if Do Not Disturb is on. So for me, I'm pretty sure the only one I have on is actually 3340 Weather. So just because I use that as a weather app, so whenever we get tornadoes or severe thunderstorm warnings, I will still get the alert from that app, even if it's on Do Not Disturb while I'm in bed at night. So next we have Easy Switcher X, which basically just allows you to kill all your background apps. So let me just open some up here just to show you. So we've got a couple of background apps running now. So what it allows you to do is just swipe down and click you can click kill all or you can respring so and it is configurable as you saw there so there are several different settings you can add a confirm section but i just turn that off because it's very annoying okay so now we have easy swipe which basically just allows you to access the control center and the cover sheet easily so as you can see i don't have to swipe from all the way up here i can just swipe from right here on the side there for the control center and there for the course or cover sheet 
It's that easy. So I do enjoy that tweak. It works very well. Next up we have Flame. And for some reason I can't get it to work properly for me. But several other people enjoy this one. Um, it's basically why I would use it is for this batch add feature. Which allows you to add a ton of different sources. Just copy and paste them right into Cydia. But I couldn't get it to work for me for some reason. If you guys know why it doesn't work I just like basically I'll go into Cydia so you can normally can click edit add batch mode and it should pop up where you can add a bunch of sources and it's not so if you guys know what's going on with that um, please let me know down in the comments below that will be amazing so that's flame now we've got gestures i11 this is an iOS 13 um, iPhone X gesture tweak here, as you can see. So uh, you can also adjust the battery, the status bar, and some other stuff here. So um, the reachability mode, just to make it exactly like the iPhone X um, here. And I don't need that bottom inset on the keyboard because bar emoji pretty much does that for me. Um, but as you can see, I can just, I've been using it the whole time through this video. We've got that iPhone X bar and the control center is from the top, as you can see there. So that's Gestures I11. Next up we have Label Hider, which basically just hides your icon labels. So I enjoy that one. It gives you a really clean look on the home screen, as you can see here. So next up we have Liberty, which just blocks jailbreak detection on certain apps. So like for instance, say I know Fortnite has jailbreak detection. I tried that a long time ago on one of my videos. If you want to play Fortnite on a jailbroken device, you can go to Liberty, block jailbreak detection, and find Fortnite and flip it on. And it's that simple. And it should play just fine. So now we have Malipo. Basically, this is just you can change your charging sound. So I have Mario selected. Uh, but my phone's on silent, so I guess that won't help. So, uh, basically, you can just change your charging sound, and you can download all the different packages from Cydia. So, this is what I've had as my charging sound for a while. So, you can change a lot of different ones, as you can see. Ooh, Minecraft. I wonder what that sounds like. So, I mean, there's a lot of different ones that you can have here. Um, oh, here's all. Oh. I will build a great, great wall on our southern border, and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. Yeah. Mark my words. Yeah. Okay, then. So, as you can see, there's a lot of different charged tones here if you download all the packages from Cydia. When you get Malipo, um, you will be able to download all the other add-on packages that actually have the sound with it. I will leave all my sources in the description, by the way. Um, so next we have Marina here, which basically just allows me to have this five icon dock. You can change it to six, seven, eight, all the way up to ten, as you can see there. So, watch this. I'll just drag settings here. There we go. So now we've got five icons on the dock. But I did use it. Oops. I did use it for a while. And uh, I haven't been lately just because I kind of like the clean four icon look. But it does work very well. Next we have pencil charging indicator which basically when you plug it into the charger it'll be like you attach the apple pencil to your ipad pro so as you can see when i plug it in the charge here we get that pencil charging indicator right there so that's what that tweak will do so next we have respring x which basically just allows you to respring restart do UI cache safe mode and kill the backboard. Um, this is more of an advanced tweak, but anyone can use it. Um, so it's really just an easier way to respring if you don't have the toggle, which I will get to here in a minute on the control center. Next, we have small Siri, which I'm sure many of you probably already have this tweak. But when I activate Siri, it's here at the bottom, as you can see there. 
so it's pretty nice. I'm going to unplug it from the charger. You can change it to the top of the screen, as you can see there. Very, very easy, um, but I just prefer it to be on the bottom. So next up, we have Smart Low Power Mode, which is basically just to allow you to tell your phone when to enter low power mode like when it's charging while it's locked, um, when to enter it automatically, and you can even change or disable the battery alert. Next we have Snowboard, which is what I'm using to run Aster iOS, or Aster iOS, the theme, which is what I am using right now. As you can see, this theme here, it looks kind of nice, I think at least. So uh, Snowboard is basically just what runs the theme on the phone. And it works way better than Anemone, so I would highly recommend Snowboard. So next we have Status Tent, which you've been looking at this whole time. As you can see, my status bar does have a custom color to it. It's purple. I just think it kind of looks good. It kind of blends well. But you can change it up very easily. So I would highly recommend Status Tent. It works very well. Now we have Swipe for More, which is another Cydia tweak. So... I'm sure a lot of you have seen this one as well. So say I want to install or uninstall something. So I can just swipe like that to uninstall, reinstall, queue it to reinstall, or queue it to uninstall. So it's pretty nice. You can also just queue stuff to install if you don't have it downloaded yet. Next up, Toggle Glow. As you can see in my control center, uh, how the rings around the control controls are there they're not just blue it's got that little ring of blue which you can actually change the color i believe but i actually just leave it there so there is a lot lot of settings in toggle glow but i'm not going to go into all those right now next is video swipes which i won't show you but basically uh, if you're watching a video through safari or on youtube you can just swipe to uh, skip forward 15 seconds or swipe back to rewind. Also, used to you could swipe up on the right side to do brightness and on the left to do volume, but with an update of YouTube, they actually disabled that feature somehow. So I hope that video swipes comes out with an update to fix that. So next we have Zen HTML, which is what I'm using to run this widget here on my home screen. So uh, I've got also a lock screen widget which I'll show you in a minute so the uh, widget that I'm running is SB EW 13 for my home screen that's what it's called um, so you can look that up on Cydia if you can't find it you can look it up on the internet and download the .deb file and install it using Fileza um, because I was having trouble finding it they took it off for some reason or at least they took it off the source that I had so I was able to find it on the internet and it's really easy to install and then my home screen I mean my lock screen here we've got SB Mune so if you look on my home screen we've got this widget here up top it gives it a really clean look compared to the normal clock on the lock screen so this next tweak we have is called Dismiss Progress, which basically, so I'll just reinstall, or here it is, perfect. So as you can see, uh, even though there's a bunch of errors here when it tried to reload a certain source, it looks like you can click close. The same if you don't want to go ahead and respring. So say you want to install something but not respring it yet, you can go ahead and install it and then just click close here in the corner. So it's pretty nice. Okay, so the next tweak is called EQE, which is basically a system-wide uh, EQ for your phone. So you can just click flat, and then you can, as you can see, you can adjust any EQ band on the entire phone. I use it on some of my Bluetooth speakers that don't quite sound how I want them to, uh, or on certain earbuds to add more bass or whatever. It's pretty nice to have. Um, you can basically change this however you want and then you can even get more advanced right here. So here are just some widget packs that I have. So if you go look in Zen HTML, I'll show you real quick, there are a bunch of different um, widget options I have. So say I want to add one, oops, background. So you click add widget and you see I have all these. So I'll just click on one. Uh, that's not even that many. I have way more on other iPhones. So see here's the one I have on uh, or 
see that little uh as you can see there's some stuff just kind of floating around uh that's kind of a cool widget you can add um but there are way more widgets you can get just keep downloading these widget packs and you can pretty much get an unlimited amount of widgets next we have force in picture which unfortunately i haven't been able to get to work on youtube even with the tweak upip it's just not working very well so if i go to youtube.com and just select uh this office video so if i open it in full screen mode then you can click this picture and picture view as you can see here so it's pretty cool how it works it's almost exactly like the iPad you can put it over to the side it's nice to have it works very well especially in Safari it even works in Twitter next we have iCleaner which is very nice to have as well because it just cleans up uh, like cache files on your phone that you don't necessarily need so let's just see how much it cleans up it's cleared up several gigabytes for me in the past unfortunately there are advertisements okay so as you can see it cleaned up 652 megabytes so I just freed up that much storage so iCleaner is very nice to have I would highly recommend it and it pretty much works on any iOS version not just iOS 13 next we have keyboard X which is good to have if you have the iPhone X gestures um, basically it's gonna allow that little uh, inset here in the bottom and then you can put the bar emoji there you do have to have the inset already for bar emoji to work um, so but it's nice to have so you can swipe up out of whatever you're in. Otherwise, you'll just be hitting the space bar. It used to annoy me all the time before I got keyboard X. Next, we have make respring's great again. So every time it respring's, here I'll show you. Every time it respring's, it's an Apple logo instead of just a little spinning wheel. So here are all the different Malapo uh, charge sounds I told you you can download. Um, so also open ssh it's more of an advanced tool but it's really useful if you like to ssh into your device and get to the root file system through a computer next we have safari features which is great um so basically as you saw earlier we've got the tabs like an ipad earlier i love this tweak um so you can just swap between your tabs really easily so if we're back here we've got four tabs open there as you can see next we have Celio which is actually just another um, package manager like Cydia um, but it has it's pretty much what all the newer tweaks are going on these days since Cydia isn't exactly supported even though uh, it still gets some updates okay so next up we have sleep toggle here which basically um just disables uh auto lock so you can click here and your phone will never go to sleep until the battery dies so next up we have cc support so basically this is just going to allow us to add way more uh cc toggles and be able to move them around so um, actually, I need to find the package with all the extra modules. So CC modules, as you can see there. You'll need CC support and CC modules. Now you can just go to Control Center. And as you can see, you will have all these different toggles for different apps. Um, and as well as it'll add a dark mode toggle, reboot, safe mode. Um, it'll add a bunch of different toggles and the cool thing is now you can move them in any order So watch this this will make my control center look weird, but Look at that so you can move it in any order so that is it. That is my top 40 plus jailbreak tweak. So in the future, I will actually have a white backdrop. So hopefully my videos will look a little bit better instead of having this bed as a background. So uh, I am getting a white backdrop soon instead of using the green screen like I used to use. So hopefully an improvement of quality will come soon. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below, and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.